Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Nigel Bajos and I got another gear review for you today. The good people over at Comica were nice enough to send me another piece of their audio gear. So I'm gonna unbox it and test it out. This is packaged pretty well. I'm actually pretty excited about this. All right. So we have the Comica CVM WS50. Now this is actually a wireless microphone system that you can use with your phone. So yeah, let's open this thing and see what comes inside. As expected, every Comica product that I've basically ever had comes with a really nice carrying case. All right, so let's open this thing. All right, you get some user manuals, which I'll probably never read. Silica pack, and looks like this is the handle. Feels really nice. And this looks like the receiver, which, let's see, you screw in like so. And then I believe this is where your cell phone goes. Oh, that's cool. It raises up like this. I'm gonna get my iPhone out and we'll see if it can hold my iPhone 6S plus. Wow, that's really solid. Uh, definitely good quality. So the receiver and the handle and everything, this is all made out of metal, which is really cool. It feels really nice in the hand. And then, uh, so yeah, that's that. And then we get the transmitter which this is made out of plastic, but feels pretty solid. Um, as always, Comic Up always provides the adapter cables. So this one will go into your phone. This is the TRRS, and then plug that into the output. And then Comic always gives you a nice little fur windscreen for their lav mics. And yeah, they included their, pretty sure this is just their basic lav mic, which they include in all the other uh, wireless uh, systems that I've used, but they're definitely pretty decent. And I like that Comica includes the mics with their system. So yeah, again, just like the WM300 system, the transmitter and the receiver are both have internal batteries. So, so you charge them by uh, plugging them into a wall cube uh, with their USB. And that's kind of cool. It's Unfortunate when you're on the field and the battery dies and you have to find a place to charge it But it's cool that they have internal batteries. You don't gotta keep buying double A's or anything like that But so yeah, this is all that you get in the package you get the transmitter receiver and cell phone clamp as well as the handle a Charging cable and then the mic of course and the fur windscreen for the mic as well as the user manual So let's take this out into the field and see how this Comica WS50 performs all right, so this part of the test, I would definitely recommend wearing headphones. I am using my iPhone 6S Plus with the Comica WS50 and the included lav mic. And it's clipped right on here to my vest. And yeah, this is the audio that you can expect if you're using a smartphone like this. But yeah, I've already actually listened back to the audio and it sounds pretty good. So yeah, this is what you can expect from using it with a iPhone or a smartphone. I am using the Filmic Pro app and I have just, you know, the regular default settings as far as the audio in that app. But yeah, this is what you can expect from an iPhone. And I think this is really good if you're an iPhone filmmaker. Um, but now I'm going to actually put it onto my Panasonic GH3 and we can do some tests using it with a, an actual camera instead of a smartphone. All right, so now I have the Comica WS50 mounted onto my Panasonic GH3 and I'm just doing a little distance test. This doesn't have the best range. This is meant for smartphones and not for having a super long distance. But yeah, as I said, there really isn't a, like, a gain option with this uh, wireless mic. There is a volume on the receiver that you can control, but there's no like limiter or anything fancy. Uh, so you're just gonna have to like plug and play and just kind of gauge how far away your mic should be from your face. But other than that, it's a pretty solid little unit and it does work with, you know, cameras like the Panasonic GH3 and any other cameras with a mic jack. All right, so I'm back in my apartment now and 
after going over the footage, I did notice that when the Kamika WS50 was, you know, out a little bit too far, you're gonna experience some problems in the audio feed. So that's one thing that you should, you know, keep in mind. Another thing that I wish I would have noticed earlier on is that I really should have had my phone on airplane mode when I was filming with it, because when you get calls or texts, it does create some problems in the audio. And that doesn't just apply to smartphones, although it's much more important when you're filming with a smartphone to make sure that you have your phone in airplane mode. But if you're using you know, any other kind of camera with a wireless system, just with wireless systems in general, it's you know better to have your phone in airplane mode just so it doesn't cause any weird you know, ticks and buzzing in the audio. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Other than that, I think that this performed really well. It worked out really well with my iPhone as well as my uh, Panasonic GH3. If you wanna use it with a camera that is not a smartphone, all you really need is just something like this. This is a male cold shoe adapter. And this will just screw into the bottom of the WS50 and then you can just put it right onto the hot shoe of your camera. And then you just need a simple male-to-male uh, -male audio cable. The one that comes with the WS50 is a, a TRRS audio cable, which is you know, designed for smartphones. So you'll need one like this if you wanna use it with a camera other than a smartphone. So the only other cons besides the fact that this doesn't have the best you know, working distance I really wish that this little unit had a headphone jack just because when I'm filming, it would be really nice to just, you know, be able to, you know, hear if I'm getting any interruptions in my audio or, you know, some buzzing or hissing or anything like that. Uh, apps like Filmic Pro will let you see audio meters, but you're really not going to be able to notice if there's any like, you know, hissing or, you know, like weird electronic noise unless you actually listen to it. So a really easy way around that is just to get a stereo headphone splitter like this and then you can plug some headphones into one end and then just plug the WS50's cable into the other end and then plug this into the WS50. And then the other end will go into your phone, obviously. And that's just a really easy way to be able to listen to your audio. Although you probably need a headphone amplifier if you're gonna use it like this because the signal that comes out of the WS50 is just a mic level signal. So it's not really gonna be loud enough for you to actually hear very well. So yeah, if you wanted to go this route, it's a you know pretty simple route to go if you just wanna like listen to your audio while you're recording it. But you definitely need a headphone amplifier for the headphone end if you wanna be able to actually hear what you're recording. Another thing you can do to get a little better quality out of this thing is just to get a different lav mic, uh, maybe like a stereo one from Aspen. Those ones are really good. But the one that's included with the WS50 is, you know, it's pretty decent. But if you wanted to take it a step further, you could, you know, invest in a higher quality lav mic. But yeah, other than that, I would definitely give this WS50 a thumbs up. If you're a smartphone filmmaker and you want to have a wireless audio setup that's in a really compact package, I would definitely say this would be one to look at. It's about 170 bucks, so it's not gonna be the cheapest system out there, but it definitely is very compact and very light, and you can use it with a smartphone or just any camera that has a mic jack. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it'd be great if you hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye.